Just about 10 minutes before uh, 10 o'clock. Nice to have you along here this morning, and nice to have uh, Cynthia Waldmeyer here from uh, Amethyst Women's Addiction Center. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Very good, very good. This is National Addiction Awareness Week. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, it happens the third week every November. It's something where events are happening across Canada. It's really a great way to raise public awareness on the issue of addictions, which uh -huh. affects every community and available services out there to help. I don't... It seems to me, with all that's happened lately in our community, in our own backyard, uh, the focus on addictions and the like uh, has grown. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think one of the key things is to know about services that are available out there to help people in the community. Mm -hmm. Amethyst is a fairly small organization. We're located in Sandy Hill, and we are a women's only day treatment center. So we're there to help. Lots of other organizations are around to help, too. What kind of addictions are we talking about here? Well, a lot of people think Amethyst may just be helping with substance addiction, which we absolutely do. But we also have programs that help with problem gambling, survivors of sexual abuse and alcohol addiction too. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so there's all kinds of things out there yes. uh, that uh, addictions fall under. Yeah, right? definitely. We also have health promotions programs where we go around in the community and uh, speak to community centers. What kind of services are we talking about here? Um, obviously it's a center where women can come in and, and talk to individuals and so on, but what else goes with that? What, what, what do you do? Uh, well, we have group counseling and individual counseling, so it really depends on what's best for the woman. Each time we see a woman, we do a separate assessment and figure out what services would most benefit her and help her. Mm. What if I'm uh, What if I'm out there? I know I have an addiction, and, and as we all know, uh, if anybody who's ever dealt with addictions before know, knows that the first step is to actually admit that you have a problem. What What if I What if I'm afraid? What if I'm I don't want to I don't want to talk to anyone. Like I don't want anybody to know. Right. Well, our services are really anonymous. Actually, if you pass by where our center is, you wouldn't even know it. There's mm. no signage or anything. Mm. So we totally respect that, and we try and keep it as anonymous as possible. Right. So yeah. do I call, or do what do yeah, I do first? No, I'd recommend uh, if anyone knows someone who might be able to benefit from our services to call 613-563-0363, and someone there will be able to speak to you and see if the services that Amethyst are right for you, and if not, other services in the community. You've got a number of initiatives going on this week yes. right, in, in conjunction with National yeah, Addiction Awareness exactly. Week. Yeah, exactly. Just to raise some awareness on our center, and uh, Bob FM is actually running a PSA voiced by Cody Jeffries. Mm -hmm. They're doing it completely free, which is huge. Yeah. So a huge thank you to Bob FM for that. Mm -hmm. And we're also doing a spa initiative where we're partnering with spas within the community. They're offering the chance for their clients to donate money, and uh, at the end of the month, they'll be doing a promotional draw to receive a gift. Oh, nice. Yeah, so uh, we're really happy about that. Only U Aesthetics is one of the spas that's participating, okay. and also the spa in Bell's Corners. But we'd love to get more spas involved, so if anyone's interested, please give us a call. Well, it's a chance to help out, right? Exactly, and with the Christmas season approaching, the time is now to be in the giving spirit. Um. The, the amount of addiction out there, what, what are we seeing in terms of numbers? Are we, are we seeing you know, a regular flow of, of, of people, or is it growing, shrinking? What do, what do you see? Well, every year we have waiting lists for our services, so the demand is definitely there. Unfortunately, I mean, it is a huge problem in Ottawa, and for us it's just making sure that we have enough funds available to bring these services to the women in the community who really need the help. It doesn't take much to realize that this is out there, and uh, certainly downtown here you see a lot of people on the street who... Uh, obviously have uh, problems, addiction problems out there. But then there are the people that you don't see, right? right. There, are, there are people behind the scenes who, who mask it and, and live with this every day. And it's organizations like yours that help them out along the way to get them back on track and, uh, and to, you know, um, not just make it known, but to, to realize that this is a situation that has to be dealt with. Absolutely. Right? I mean, that's been the goal of Amethyst since 1979 when we first opened our doors, and yeah. we hope to be doing it for many years to come. One other thing I, I wanted to mention was uh, I uh, asked Cynthia before we came on if, uh, if they could use some, <clears throat> some uh, electronics that I happen to have that a friend of mine has uh, that uh, we wanted to donate. And that's always something that you're looking for, right? Be it furniture, electronics, what have you? Well, this is something we uh, have a Christmas party each year for the women and their children who are participating in the programs at right. the center. Right. And that's something we're always looking for. We're always looking for gifts that could be donated for both the women and the children. Right. And, I mean, if there's something in good condition that you'd like to donate, we'd love to have it. Yeah. So, again, feel free to call us, 613-563-0363. Yeah. You could use it Figure in your center. Out. People could use it yeah. in their homes. I mean, a lot of times uh, the people you're helping out, 
out um, don't you know are are out on their own and and probably trying to put their lives back together in a new place or what have you. So exactly, and not a lot of people have a lot of resources available to yeah. them. So that kind of generosity, I mean, is always appreciated. Yeah, Cynthia, pleasure. Thanks Thank for you coming so by. much. Nice to see you. Thank you. All right. Uh, 9.55, a quick break. We'll be back to wrap up uh, this uh, Tuesday edition of the program after this. Out your heart.